Alright, hey guys, I'm back, and I'm keeping it going with the Castlevania on PS2. We're gonna show a little bit of Curse of Darkness. I'm not very far on the PS2 version of this, because I originally played it on Xbox original. But, uh... Yeah, this one definitely made some improvements to the formula. Which I will point out. But there's some things I like more about uh, Lament of Innocence. Well, for one, you can see right away you have the controllable camera. So, a bit odd though, because uh, it's got that always inverted left and right, and there's no way to change it. They didn't fix that until Nano Breaker. But, um, if you hit L1, it centers behind you, and there's also a targeting, which keeps them kind of centered on, or focused on them. And it's a bit different. Uh, there's no whip. You're just more like an Alucard-type character using various bladed weapons, and some there's some fist weapons as well. But you can still do combos with a powered up finisher and such, but uh, the sub-weapons have been uh, changed into now you have these familiars, which is kind of like uh, the familiars you get in Symphony of the Night, but a bit more fleshed out because they have actual movesets and all that. But yeah, this one's very good. should probably take out this other guy. Guy is casting magic in the background. I just got this uh, rapier weapon, which has a pretty cool finishing move set for different combos. Like that one. Oh, I did. And right now I've got the. Uh, What is this called? It's a fairy of some sort. Um, summon. Oh, it's Puck. Okay. Typical fairy name. But yeah, it's it's kind of just it's the same as Lament of Innocence, just highly improved. Um, crack open the energy drink here. Not sure if I was on a boss here. I'm getting close to the end of this level, I thought. Maybe not. They've definitely added more, like, kind of uh, inclines and angles to these levels. The Lament of Innocence really got uh, criticized for the very boxy looking environment, so you can see in some of the level, like, this area is still kind of a combat arena, but. There'll be others that are like hills and outdoor stuff. You'll see. But yeah, this one's very cool. Oh, I got some typical zombies. That one's pretty good. AoE effect. One, two. Um, I was playing a bit of Nano Breaker as well, because I was curious how it compared to this. It's it's kind of the same gameplay as well, just more action-based for that one. That one's pretty good for crowds. That one's good for a boss, maybe. You little bastards. Gotcha. I do like that the camera kind of stays centered on who you're fighting, but you can also target away from them if they surround you. It's a decent system. Let's see where we're at. 
that. We can either... Okay, I think... Maybe I've already gone downstairs, though. Or wait, upstairs, rather. Let's have a look really quick. This one also has good music. I think I prefer the Lament of Innocence soundtrack, though. But what am I missing? I got like oh I gotta get to the third floor so I gotta get over to here where am I right now oh okay I'm pretty close to that actually I'll just run past these guys for the sake of time let's make some progress but and save as well I must have been yeah I, I was just in this area so I went the wrong way derp I don't have to save I'm right near the same area I like how the save rooms look sweet in this one. Need to get some sort of attack summon. Let's go this way. Alright, this should be the right way. that ID lock does. I think that makes your summon lock onto them, maybe? Yeah, it must be. Because then I can change my lock on like this. Fuck. But tough to lock onto the guy you want to lock on sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got some clunk to it, for sure. Jeez, these little fuckers pissing me off. Chasing me around. I need some better, like, better summons or something. Fuck. These guys are evasive. This does actually look pretty good on the Xbox version as well. It's That might be the only version that supports progressive scan, although this one, it's forced through the PS3 that I'm playing on right now. Using that launch model PS3. Boom. Takes like two combos to kill that guy. Just gotta make sure to hit him with every attack. Yeah, I've been on a PS2 kick, for sure. And these games kind of define PS2 for me, along with Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid. Stuff like that. That will make cry. And all the awesome JRPGs. Even some of the worst JRPGs on PS2 were still better than what we get nowadays. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, I'm getting used to it again. It's a problem if I switch games too much doing these videos that I kind of play bad. I would like to stick with one game, but there's just so many I want to show. I have so many in the collection. It's tough fighting, like, a bunch of these guys at once. Ah, you don't even get a move off before someone hits you in the back, or the side. At least Puck is healing me. I need to beat the next boss so I can get some probably new abilities, I assume. I got much farther on Xbox, but years later I was thinking, 
Now, I should really have both PS2 games in the collection before the price gets too absurd, so I bought this. I'm getting a lot of meat in this game. I'm noticing that. Candles give you random items, too, in this one. Not just hearts or money. And this game... Yeah, this game definitely has levels. As you can see, it says experience and everything. So that might have been what I was thinking in the last video. Puck definitely keeps you alive in this first stage. I did think about starting over and just showing you guys the intro cutscene, but then I'm like, eh, I'll start in the meat of the game. That's a bit more fun for a viewer's perspective than just watching the cutscene and me talking. Oh, level up again. See, I, I'm getting all these gems flying into the familiar. I'm not quite remembering how that works. Oh, and of course I get that. I'm nearly done. Just to kill one enemy. Or wait, maybe two. There's something you have to do... Yeah, you can change... I don't understand what this does, though. It just lets me swap. It doesn't let me actually do anything. Yeah, I think this one controls a little better on the uh, PS2 controller. Um, on Xbox, you have to hit the... I think the white button to center the camera like this. That's a bit obnoxious. Take a sip while I go up the epic, epic Castlevania staircase. Uh, the moon looks really like a flat background. Yeah, you can see it's like a, a texture. <laughs> But I'll be using the scan lines on this one again, as you can see already. I tried to match up the, sc the scan lines with the last video to how it looks on my actual CRT TV. I got it pretty close, but I think making it a bit more uh, drastic effect might look better for the videos, because it looked kind of subtle in the last one. Might be a good thing, because that's accurate to how it looks on the CRT. Alright. We might be coming up to a boss. Save screen. Very bright and colorful. Shitty textures, PS2. But that's what the scan lines kind of help as well, as the low res resolution and textures look a bit sharper. To me. Right, here we go. Our sip. Some sort of uh, Iron Knight enemy. What is this called? Oh, they don't say the. Uh... Oh, wait. Crazy Armor Level 9. Okay. Puckle. Keep me alive, I assume. And uh, this rapier is a weapon I crafted. So it has a weapon crafting thing. I'll show you in a bit. I did craft an axe as well, but this one seems to be the best one so far. Oh, not too tough, but maybe he'll pull out some shit at the end. Plus, puck really helps me here. All my mana though. Whew. There, I got the dodge right. Got to do it a little earlier. Let's do that two combo. Ooh. Ooh. Almost dead. One, two, circle. One, two. Ah, I got him. Got him.
Oh, of course he's gonna power up. I had a feeling. That was a bit too easy. Now I don't have any mana, which is not good. What gonna do? Fire shit. Whoa! Alright, we need some challenge. Challenge is good. Not too much for the first area. Fucking him up still. But yeah, this, I like this game. Ooh! Just two parts? That wasn't too bad. What about this? Oh, is he dead? Ooh! Blinding! Got the chair to sit on here. Item to grab here. That just refills me. Sit in this. What's with Castlevania games and having you sit in chairs? Then Resident Evil 4 did a nod to that and had Leon able to sit in a throne. We got a new song. See, we got an outdoor area, and there's the fog I told you about. That's what that sort of top-down perspective of Lament of Innocent did. But, just the nature of old games. Although, even on PS2, having fog like that was kind of low quality. But, that's how this engine was designed. Oh, is this... this is the golem that I get? Magmard? Or... Melden? Alright, yeah, sure, you can be called Melden. Guard. Yeah. Hmm. Forgot about that. Attack button or final attack button when this happened. Chain attack. Okay, I think I remember that. Oh, I've got my attack. See, the camera angle like this looks pretty cool. It looks much better than the free control camera, but free control camera is more useful. Huh, I don't know what that does. But they tried to mix it up with this game. Give it a bit more depth, which was cool. If I can figure out how to play this again. He's really fucking them up! The Jet Black. It, they definitely added more RPG-type elements to make this like a 3D symphony of the night, pretty much. But I do appreciate having the more outdoor environments and a bit more variation to the environments, even though it's still kind of low detail. A great game. Oh, that's that. Oh yeah, the triangle has them do their attack, I guess. I'll try this guard thing. Come on. See what happens. Oh yeah. I don't remember using this at all originally. I think I just kept them in attack mode for whatever reason. 
Oh, what you get at me? Jet black again. Man mode and then auto mode. I'll just do auto. I will probably try to play Nano Breaker at some point as well to kind of finish off the trilogy of Igarashi action games on PS2. Nano Breaker is flawed, but it's still interesting. I do wish this game had the mini-map. I don't think it does. I believe Nano Breaker finally added the mini-map, though. Interesting. say that enemy's name. Was that like a troll or Cyclops? I couldn't tell. As you can see, the camera is both good and bad. Like these inclines, the free camera is almost worse than uh, fixed. But you got to use the recenter button quite a bit. That's kind of how Ninja Gaiden 1 and Ninja Gaiden 2 were. Yeah, good music as usual. Very Castlevania. Just kind of freely explore. I'm not sure where I'm going yet. Fun of it. What? Oh shit, he attacked that. Get some meat. Be nice if I could free select the weapons, but. See, that's the thing, now you do the weapons in the menu, uh, but you can't do it out of the menu. Let's really reverse that. Let's do the axe for a little bit. No, it's not quite as good. But yeah, let's show, uh... Looks like we got some new combine. Oh, we need to make a short sword first. First you make the sword, then you make a different type of sword with the material. One of those. Give this one a try. We got a new spear as well. This is... This is the first spear. Okay. Bamboo lance. What oh, we got in you? Make this. And then... Oh, we need aluminum now. Fuck. This. Hard leather. Alright, so we need some aluminum. Let's equip what we got here. Alright, we're good. Oh yeah, that's a good attack. Yeah, the, the sword is good because um, that one is kind of like the axe in Lament of Innocence. Gives you some of that range. I get used to that chain thing. random when the chain pops up. I think these guys are just going to keep spawning, so let's, let's go this way. Yeah, the way they set up the areas in this one makes it feel more like an adventure. You're like making, you're traveling somewhere rather than just going through a maze of boxy rooms. It can't be. That's impossible. She can't be alive. Oh. May I be of service? Uh, no. 
Wrong person. My name is Hector. What are you doing in a place like this? I could ask you the same question, sir. I am searching for someone. A man bearing the same crest I'm wearing. And this man, is he your enemy or your friend? You sound as if you know him. Yes, quite so. Now answer me, be he your friend or foe? He is my most bitter enemy. I see. In that case, I shall help you. I think these cutscenes are video files. By what reason would you offer me this? I can movie? tell when it's up on the Indeed. By what reason TV. should I trust it? Your enemy is my enemy. I probably that thought these were in enough. game. If you are a Devil Forge master, you shall need a place to keep your little friends safe. Rest assured, you have no reason to refuse my help. You seem quite knowledgeable. Who are you exactly? I don't a witch. I'm not sure if they were in-game in the last one, Lament of Innocence. I have the power to envision the future. How interesting. And your name? Julia. My house is further on. I shall prepare an elixir that may be of use to you. Oh, is she going to be the Farewell. potion saleswoman? The merchant. Julia. She is the very image of Rosalie. They're definitely pre-rendered. Uh, boot up Lament of Innocence one more time and check the intro cutscene. Those might be pre-rendered as well. They did that a lot on PS2 and into Xbox 360 gen. They still kind of do it. Wait. Oh, is this like a teleport? I like the floor. It's all seen. Not sure if that's a save point or not. That's a teleporter because it's yellow. gonna be her shop? Probably. Hmm. Familiar's just chillin'. Uh. Right, got the mountain map. Welcome! What can I do for you? Will that be all? I don't have any stable. Will that be all? Not sure how to do, do this best. yet. Oh. Good yeah. to see you, Kate. What can I do for you? What do you need? Will that be all? Anything else? At least these are a bit cheaper than Anything Lament else? of Innocence, only ten and twenty. No reason to punish you for being able to go back to this. Doesn't really say the stats. I think I really need any of that. Do your best. I will do my best. Start to explore. This is a save point. Gotta be. to steal an item. Yeah, I'll probably not be good at that. I suck at anything timing based. Especially so random like that. Oh, he's going nuts immediately. Oh, 
Plus they die before you can really do much. This uh, sword is pretty awesome. Fucking them up. But as you can see, there's a bit more verticality to the levels now. Not just all flat, boxy rooms. Still a lot of those, but not as many. This is a nice gem to have from this generation. Xbox version as well is fun. This one gives you a bonus item to find if you have the save data from Lament of Innocence. It's the Moy heads from Radius. I'm not sure what they do. They might just be sellable, I'm thinking. What are these things? Oh, it's an orc. I don't like orcs. Oh, nice. I got the aluminum. Hold on. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's the one that was for sale. Okay. And they're like, oh yeah, the helmet. So. Let's see how the uh, spear is. The dung. What a name. Corinth helmet. A skeleton pilot in here. Do I get him? There we go. <laughs> now it's my cannon. I remember this. Oh shit, of course I hit the wrong button. What button is it? Ah! I don't know which one's shooting at me, I can't tell. Who the fuck is shooting at me? I can't... Oh, these things, okay. Is there a health going down? Is that my life or theirs? It seems like my life. Okay, that's actually destroying it, yay. This one. There we go. I couldn't tell if I was even doing damage. Who the fuck's shooting at me? These guys? Fuck you guys, orcs. So fun. It's kind of weird they put this in here. But <laughs> yeah, they're coming. Kill as many as you can. Ooh, I got it. Go get the loot before it disappears. Oh, oh I thought that was an enemy. I don't know if it's going to disappear. It might. Ooh, yeah. Aluminum. And some french fries. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Huh, it doesn't have the... Oh, there's the command one. Tell him to do the Aura Blast, I thought. I don't know how the hell that works. He's not doing it now. Oh, because he's out of MP is probably why. See that then. Take this bitch ass archer out. No one likes bitch ass archers. Now, a lot of the times, it's good to not lock on with the crowds. You gotta look around for all the other bitches. Oh, I'm using the spear. I totally forgot. I was still using the sword. Whoa. Whoa. 
Spear's doing a Madung, as it's called, is doing a fair bit of damage. Check out the move set. Whoa, that one's pretty cool. That one's okay. One, two, three. How about one, two, three? One, one, two, three. I guess it only has a three hit combo. There's no ending for the third one. Hmm. It's not bad, though. These don't really give you hearts as often, the scene. Bitch ass archers to take out. Let's go do that before we save. Yay! Seems like the enemies give you hearts more than the candles. I miss being able to run through the candles to break them. I wonder if that's something you can get in this. This one's a bit different, even though it's kind of the same formula. A lot of new things with it. Memorize Memorial Position. I guess if you don't want to travel back to the last memorial, you can always travel to that one. <laughs> Just knocks him over. The spear's not bad. Less combo. Getting some more evolution crystals. Can't remember how exactly that system works. I do remember getting some pretty powerful summons later on. Get these guys out. There's the chain thing. I think I did it there, but I'm not too sure. Good music. The Xbox version has slightly shorter load times, it's one advantage. Oh, fucked up that Cyclops. Doesn't like automatically look up the hills. Just a little, a little bit annoying. Um, let's go back down this way. Here. And there's not a whole lot of options as well. It's like this is all there is, and this only inverts. I'm pretty sure this only inverts up and down. It doesn't change the left and right reversal. You can set the buttons to whatever you want. But yeah, there's not a whole lot. Can't change the camera distance, nothing. It is nice this game runs 60 FPS though. Probably would not if it looked better than this. Because the PS2 was pretty limited still. I 
think that sword might be better. Let's look at the stats. Oh yeah, let's use the sword. I'm pretty sure it has a better moveset as well. The spear has a longer range, maybe, but... What you use the left and down D-pad direction for? I guess just to change the... Yeah, up and down for that, but left and right, not so much. Just like for this, but there's only one attack here. Huh, oh, he's going after that guy. Get him, boy. Oh, I see, he's doing the aura blast himself. Oh, I need the fairy. Your fairy. Why can't I hit you? Help me! Get him, boy. Can I switch to the fairy? Yes. Yay! Allow you to track the lineage of Crater Raid. Oh, okay. I guess that helps me track stuff. I don't understand this uh, gem selection, but... Not too sure. That stuff always kind of made me tune out, uh, having to micromanage. Oh, what is this? Pocketrice. Yeah, the sword is pretty good. Sometimes it's annoying having the attack summon, because it's like, I want to do the fighting, he's killing them all. But sometimes you need them. Thank you for that heal. I don't understand why Konami won't do anything new with this series. They just don't know how to make a good Castlevania game anymore, I guess. Let's go this way first. You do kind of get used to the inverted left and right camera, but it's still obnoxious. What's nice if you attack without hitting the direction, it just automatically uh, attacks towards the lock on. Kind of easy to just dodge and hit attack because he'll automatically go towards the enemy. of skeletons here. Uh-oh. These things. Ifrit's. That's a summon in uh, Legend of Oasis on Sega Saturn, I believe. Might be in Beyond Oasis on Genesis as well. I think it's called 
the Thor series on, uh, in Europe and Japan. Oh, I see. The cursor changed and let me steal there. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it again. Got that gold! <laughs> I don't remember doing that before. A lot of that jet black stuff. Nothing else to really develop either. Got all the current uh, combinations. I definitely do appreciate games like this more these days, as I said in the Lament of Innocence video. It's a more quaint game, but it's also more fun, because it's straight to the point. Rather than all the cinematic, walk-forward Hollywood crap we have these days. More skeletons. Oh, damn, they're being generous with the meat. Another Ifrit. That's a good attack right there. That's probably one of the best ones. Nice cloud background there. Cool how they had to design games back in the day due to limitations. Try to make it look good artistically with those limitations. Oh. Got another boss. Looks like my stats are good, so let's give it a try, I guess. Okay, this is an in-game cutscene. I guess some of them are in-game, like the boss reveals. Get out my attack. My attack boy. I gotta get those chains. The fact it's just targeting his head is a little bit annoying. I guess that's the weak point, though. Ah, I gotta get that chain. Okay, that's the chain when he says go. Can I steal from him? You have to, like, just do it on normal enemies. Doing bad, though. Might need to heal, but... It's pretty easy to dodge. This ain't no Dark Souls. generous with the dodge high frames seems like or a blast seems like it Oh, is he gonna pull out some bullshit soon? Woo! Come on.
flying around, gonna do more fire. Oh, did he kill my boy? He did. What you done to my boy? That's okay, you're almost dead. Gotta eat some meat, I will. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay, I better eat something. Figured he I'll do the potion. Alright, hit him in the face. Seem to stop him. Whoa! Gotta be careful. Holy shit. Nope, just keeps going. Ooh, come on. Yeah, it's definitely his weak point on the head, so the legs weren't doing as much damage. out as epic as Dark Souls, bro. Ah, uh, that, that's way easier than Dark Souls. Like Lament of Innocence, this ramps up a bit later. Oh, and you're back. Uh, let's... Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. What's in here? We at? We're almost to an hour. We'll end this pretty soon. Uh, gives you a good taste of this game. Boom. Showed you all the gameplay systems, the cutscenes, boss. Level up. I feel like these guys just keep spawning. Oh, this is a pretty good song. Let's keep moving. Give you plenty of aluminum. Don't need it now. Until I get more recipes. An Ifrit. Not sure when my familiars will start to evolve. I'll have to look up how that works again after this. This beautiful outdoor environment with those PS2 graphics. Gorgeous. This is the true next gen experience. This way. Beautiful trees. <laughs> yeah, these are definitely pre rendered. I can see the shift in graphics. I've been waiting for you, Hector. Devil Forge Master. How do you know me? Who are you? Saint Germain. I won't bandy words with you. I have an urgent request. Please, refrain from pursuing Isaac any further. Bastard! <laughs> so you're with Isaac! But that does not follow. Isaac wishes to fight me. For what purpose do you make this request? This will not make sense to you, but to put it simply, I seek to maintain the flow of greater will. This is pointless. Out of my way! Your beloved was killed on false allegations that she was a witch. I know how you feel, and I sympathize truly, but please look past Rats! your own... How do you know an epic mustache. That? I cannot tell. 
I know far more than you imagine. But I cannot act upon that knowledge. That is my <laughs> arrangement. I may only observe. I, I have no choice but to excuse myself. Please, consider my request. Straight up ocelot looking ass. The world hangs in the balance. Goodbye. I believe this takes place after Castlevania 3, so it's pretty early in the timeline. What's that? Pretty sure Trevor Belmont shows up in this and is also playable at uh, after you beat it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's it's sad that there was going to be more to the Castlevania series. They were going to have the the battle with Dracula in the year 2000 or whatever. That they never really showed in a game. They created a decent lore, backstory for the series that never really got fully finished because Konami is just fucking incompetent. Try to get to the next save point, I guess. Did two bosses in this play so far. Not bad. Pretty cool song. One of these is gonna be the. Oh. Hold on, let's go back. Oh, are these? They almost look like flea men. Yep. Ah, nice. Do I? Looks like they get cut in half. Pretty bloody. I like it. All right, we're gonna go back this way first. Gotta love the Castlevania style. Let's see what this is. Read that. Huh. Wonder if there'll be something there later. Let's go the other way as well. Yeah, it's simplistic graphics, but I like the striking art style. Or flea men. These probably both go the same way. It's definitely good to have the wide attack for these flea men bouncing around. Moving. Bastards want to piss me off. Assume this goes. Oh, wait. Knights. Whoa. If I can steal. I'm trying to steal. Ooh, nice. You can get magical tickets from them? Not bad. I think I need to beat Lament of Innocence first, but I kind of want to replay this game as well, all the way. Potion to refill the one I lost. Just about to hit an hour here. Find a save point pretty soon. I like the way this area looks. The music's decent. Steal. Got another magical ticket. Why even buy them? Just farm them from these guys. So what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this game more than Lament of Innocence or what? Let me know in the comments. The feeling. Well, let's see where this goes. Or did you like Nano Breaker more than both? <laughs> I doubt anyone does, but never know. Let's check uh, this room, I guess. Another item to grab in here. 
I want to steal from a flea man. Only 10 gold! Yeah, that'll help with the flea man. <laughs> yeah, that works really well against them. I'll just keep stealing gold from you. It's being super defensive. Oh, got a map. Good. Try going forward this way. Just keep going up this way. See what's up here. Ow! Um, blood on the floor? Reminds me of Silent Hill 2 when you're following the blood. This area is looking pretty complex. Okay, I can see the save point, so we at least know where to go. Let's, uh... Might need Puck here. Give me some heals. Itches. You, Puck. Also gotta get some hearts from these guys. Ah, they're not giving me hearts. Ah, oh, more flea men. Let's see where this goes. Ah. Okay, I think I know. Yeah, this is just this whole area. Just head for the oh. Fucking flea men. more areas, but we'll head to the save point and end this video. This way. Yeah, I had fun playing these. Uh, it brings back a lot of memories of playing both of these when they came out on PS2 and then this one on both PS2 and Xbox. Give me that magical ticket. I'm gonna have plenty of those. I don't even have to buy them now. We'll just save and then we'll check out this final room and that'll be the end. Ending on a save point is kind of boring. Let's be safe. Big hallway. Some dead fencers, that's pretty cool. But I am the superior fencer. They are level 12, I'm level 9, I'm still wiping the floor with them. More of these bitches. I don't think they... They might stop eventually if you kill enough, but I'm not too sure. As long as they keep giving me hearts, I can keep healing. Let's go a little bit further. Let's see what's past this. Yeah, this game's definitely improved in a lot of ways to uh, Lament of Innocence. It feels more like... What I said earlier, a cohesive adventure, and there's more of a flow between the areas, um, a natural flow, whereas the original is just selecting the level that you're playing, and then you're in that area until you leave. It's just 
just take out these doggies and that'll be enough. The Fenrirs, rather. My my people's kind of dogs. It's like a defensive slash there if you slash from the dodge. Whew. I'm not sure how you unlock the other combinations. I feel like you have to get recipes or something. Let's see. Yeah, because it's not really letting me make anything new. Uh, how's my summons doing? Both level 8. Uh, oh, you see they keep respawning. But anyways, we'll end it here. Hope you enjoyed the Let's Play of Castlevania Curse of Darkness. See you on the next video. Hey.